What happened to Firefall? In 1973, while Bartley was on tour with Graham Parsons, Rick Roberts and Bartley met. Bartley started practicing with Roberts after Roberts was impressed by how well he played the guitar. They got in touch with guitarist Larry Burnett and bassist Mark Andes, and the band was called Firefall. Roberts got the name from the Yosemite Firefall, an annual event held in Yosemite National Park to entertain visitors. Mark Holman was offered a spot on Firefall, but he turned it down and stayed in Navarro, his band. Michael Clark, who had been with the Birds and the Flying Burrito Brothers, was also the drummer of the new band called Firefall. Chris Hillman produced Firefall's 1975 demo tape, which included three songs. Since Roberts was performing with Steven Stills' band over the summer, work on the band's first album was put off until late 1975. Firefall was recorded in a single month and it came out in April 1976. Livin' Ain't Livin', the group's debut single did not reach the Billboard Top 100 Top 40. On tour with Leon Russell, the Doobie Brothers, Tom Waits, Leonard Skinner, Roy Buchanan, Electric Light Orchestra, and the band, the band performed alongside Asleep at the Wheel, Willie Nelson, and Jerry Jeff Walker. You Are the Woman, the band's subsequent single, reached the top 10 and they went on tour with Fleetwood Mac. For the recording of their second album, Tropical Nights, Firefall returned to Criteria Studios. Firefall worked on the album that was retitled Lunacy, a pun on lunacy, with Jim Mason again producing. Just Remember I Love You, a single, peaked at number 11 on the singles chart of the Billboard Hot 100. Ewan, their third studio album, was produced by Tom Dowd, but the band and Dowd had divergent musical visions. As a result, the group parted ways with its management and fell into debt to the label. To finish the record, Ron and Howard Albert was brought in. The band's run of strong sales continued with the smash single Strange Way. The band was exhausted and their finances were unstable after two years of nonstop recording and touring. Michael Clark drank too much during a tour of Japan in August 1979, which caused him to miss gigs or show up without being able to play. Dan Holston, a German drummer whose playing style was comparable to Clark's, was hired by the band to sit in. Atlantic Records nonetheless anticipated a new album despite this. The album Undertow, which was released in March 1980, was again produced by the Alberts. As Clark and Mark Andes left the band, this would be their last album together. The former rhythm section of Kenny Loggins, which included drummer Tris M. Bowden and bassist George Hawkins, took their places. When Clouds Across the Sun came out in December 1980, it gave rise to the hit song Staying With It in early 1981. Cloud saw Jock grow as a writer and singer, and on some of the songs, the band moved in the direction of harder new wave music. Hawkins left Firefall at the end of 1980 to join Mick Fleetwood's The Visitor. Andy's returned to the band as a guest for their February 1981 appearance on American Bandstand. Following that, Larry Burnett vanished from the group and Rick Roberts announced that he was leaving for a solo career. Atlantic dropped Firefall from their lineup in 1981 and released Best of Firefall at the end of the year due to the band's growing debt and personnel shortage. Roberts has continued to tour on occasion, performing with fellow former Burrito brother Chris Hillman and with former Birds members Gene Clark and Michael Clark in a 20th anniversary Birds tribute band. He went on tour with Larry Burnett, another member of the Firefall band, in the summer and fall of 2019. In the spring of 1982, Jock Bartley decided to form a new Firefall lineup with two musicians from Miami, John Samantaro and Chuck Kirkpatrick. When they both participate in the Criteria Sessions for Andy Gibbs' platinum album Shadow Dancing in 1978, John and Jock had already met. Ron and his brother Howard produced the Break of Dawn album, which featured several Miami session musicians and featured guest appearances from Rick Roberts and Stephen Stills. 
Firefall traveled to the United States in the winter of 1983 to promote Break of Dawn. However, the single from the album Always did not make the top 40 and quickly dropped off the charts. In November 1983, they released Mirror of the World, a commentary on the effects of television violence on children. Despite this, the band continued to tour, opening for bands like the Beach Boys, Little River Band, and Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band in larger venues. Overton resigned in 1983, and Muse decided to resume their touring retirement. Chuck Kirkpatrick was shot and injured in the arm on August 4, 1986, during a drive-by shooting. His left arm was nearly amputated due to the severity of the wound, but doctors were able to save it. John Sakata and members of the Miami Sound Machine, as well as a lot of Miami musicians, came to his aid and played shows to help pay for his rehab and medical care. Sambantara left to play for Dion in 1989 after deciding it was time to part ways. The personnel changes continued in the early and middle of the 1990s, with Rick Roberts leaving once more in the spring of 1992 to be replaced by Bruce Crichton. Firefall went through the 1993 flood, which inspired Jock to write the upbeat song When the River Rises, which is about finding strength amid adversity. The song was sent to other radio stations in the flooded areas, where it got a lot of airplay and CNN and other TV stations used it to help cover the disaster. In 1994, the band started looking for a new record deal and decided to sign with Redstone Records, an independent label based in Colorado. Messenger, which was made and released in September 1994, was recorded in Denver and Boulder. The CD also included the song Say It Over by Bill Hopkins and Innocent Victim by Steve Manchel. On the album, Mark Andes and Richie Fure appeared as guests and Jim Mason took over as producer once more. With songs about child abuse, environmental catastrophe, and even sexual abuse and rape, Messenger was much more diverse than anything else the band had released up until that point. Although the first single, Love Find a Way, received minor airplay on some stations, Redstone lacked the distribution power to get the CD into all stores, resulting in disappointing sales overall. In September 1999, Manchel left completely to pursue his career and the band reverted to five members. From late 1999 until Hopkins' departure in 2014, Bartley, Weinmeister, Hopkins and Sandy Ficka continued to operate under the name Firefall. Firefall put on a few shows a year as acoustic Firefall in various combinations, with Jock, Steve, and Bill being the most common. Mark Andes, David Muse, Larry Burnett, and Joe Lala, the original studio percussionists for Firefall, performed together at a reunion concert on April 9, 2008. In February 2009, the reunion was released on CD as Firefall Reunion Live. Jamie Crow Bartley, the son of Jock, has been playing drums with the band occasionally and occasionally summoned in for Sandy Ficka since 2008. David Muse performed with Firefall once more in 2011 and alternated with Chris Ball before returning permanently. The supergroup Boulder County Conspiracy was formed in 2012 by former and current Firefall members Jock Barley and David Muse. Rick Roberts and Joe Lawla were in the band as well. They performed Firefall, Captain Beyond, the Marshall Tucker Band, and Spirit Songs, in addition to other originals and covers on their 2012 tour. Mark Andes, the band's founding member and bassist, returned to the band. In June 2014, Jace Hill joined the band for a brief time to fill in for Steven Weinmeister, but he returned by early July. Firefall was named one of the 2014 inductees into the Colorado Music Hall of Fame in November 2014. Steven Weinmeister left Firefall at the end of 2014 after being in there for 22 years. Gary Jones, a singer and guitarist, took his place. 
Jones had previously substituted for Weinmeister at the aforementioned November 1999 show as well as a few other shows in September 2014. Comet, the band's first new album in nearly two decades, was released in 2020. After Mark Andes had a hip replacement in August 2019, John Trujillo, a bassist friend of Sandy Ficka and Lance Hoppin, both of Orleans, took his place. Jim Waddell, who first joined Firefall in 1993, returned to fill-in for David Muse when he was unable to tour in 2021 due to cancer. John Bissaha, the current singer and bassist for The Babies, joined the band in July 2022. And that's what happened to Firefall. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and give me some facts about the band that I failed to mention and let me know who I should do next on this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.